Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas' Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Share widely because that is the only thing that really helps this channel to reach more people. So, before we do anything, let me introduce you to um, my friend and this month's guest reader, Jane Arnold. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. You have been on this uh, uh, channel about five, six times now? Yeah. Right? It's been a while yeah. though in between. It also it? shows you how, how yeah. old the channel is. This this year um, marks the sixth anniversary of the channel. Ah. And you kind of go like, whoa, well, you know, you, you don't really look at stuff that no. way. So, yeah. So, um, and if you want a reading with, with Jane or myself, um, you know, if you can't choose book two readings, problem solved, <laughs> you can find all the information in the description box below so you can figure out how to get in touch with us when you have a look in the description box. So what we do here, Torians, we will look at the energies um, and separate them, sli separate them slightly. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of November for the sign of Torians or for Taurus before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's um, healing coming in or there's love coming in, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023. Um, that's what we do. Before we do anything, let me just plug myself here. <laughs> I have been asked by an online magazine that reaches over a million people a month um, to you know, write some articles that I feel is important to share. So they handpick uh, the people that they want to write for them. So I'm now an executive contributor for that magazine. Uh, I committed to a year. Um, three uh, articles have already been published. Um, and you can find the link to this free online magazine that has a lot of other people doing a lot of other work from counseling, you know, psychology, um, entrepreneurship, all that kind of stuff. So you can see, you can find an awful lot of um, help in that free magazine. So I put that in the description box uh, below as well. I would really appreciate if you find me there and my fellow colleagues, therapists, there are all sorts of stuff there. Yeah, if that makes that. sense. And they, and it's obviously because the magazine is, is a bit like it's a bit done like a like a back in the day like a blog. So when you look at sections, you will find anything and everything I do in the mindfulness section because that is what I do. If that makes sense, right? I'm also mindful that I'm rambling on. So so now without further ado, we look at the overall energy for the sign of Taurus for the month of November 2023. Okay. So the overall energy we have uh, reward yourself and Cupid. We like Cupid. Mm. So uh Taurians, this is um the overall energy for you is about looking after you, being kind to you. Um, sometimes you do tend to put other people first or their thoughts, their feelings before your own. And this is this is very much about not doing that, thinking of yourself. Um, the Cupid card is, is more for you loving yourself more than, than it is for other people. But it could also be that as well. It could be uh, relationship wise as well. But I just feel personally and overall for you for the month of November, be kind, be gentle, don't keep beating yourself up um, and just think, what is it that I need to do for me this month rather than running around doing for everybody else and leaving yourself with no energy and just being frazzled. Okay, and also remember, this is the month of November. Um, November is, an, is, is the 11th month. 11 is a master number, which means the energy is higher than in any other month. Now, Normally, how you come to these numbers is by putting them together. And because 11 is a master number, it doesn't get reduced. But oftentimes, when you look at um, healing and astrology and neurology, you will call it an 11 slash 2. You are the second sign. You are the 2, if that makes sense. So the energy of the months naturally supports the number 2, which is your imprint your imprint, your number. So whatever you can achieve in the month of November is stronger simply because we have an 11-2 month, right? So that is quite powerful. And you do need that help, if that makes sense, that sounds horrible. But, um, you know, Jane, you talked about, um, you know, relationships and, and, and putting yourself first. Yeah. And Taurus, it's just what you do. 
you know you put a lot of other things first and sometimes you do this because then it means you don't have to look at yourself right sometimes you give too much and because we're looking at your emotional core and my guys are quite um, direct and so they're saying to you is if you don't look at yourself which also means to then look at what isn't working mm -hmm. there's confrontation and opposition coming your way so this is a month where you kick ass simply because it is 11 slash 2 so you have an extra energy if that makes sense right so people always assume that the energy of 11 only works for Aquarius which isn't the 11 sign but it works for Taurian quite a bit so the point is already when it comes to healing and when it comes to looking and reflecting on relationships this doesn't work so well unless there is a bit of friction which also then means that you haven't spoken up early so when there is frustration already eventually in order to shift stuff you will very likely get louder so already you can see that what, what will very likely not happen is that you say because i love you so much can i have a chat <laughs> it just doesn't flow that way but you are asked to look at what isn't working there's a really simple way of doing this you look at your life <coughs> and then obviously you, you're connected to whoever that that people or that person or these people are in your life which makes it harder now remove yourself and then put your best friend into your shoes and into your situation and ask the question from me you touched upon the few would i ask my best friend to go through the things or to endure the things i endure when the answer is no or not sure then you already know things need to change but everything is about detachment which is also what we do here so we come here to learn detachment right um, the point is that the, the energy that you have here is opposition and progression so the point is once you and this is what i'm getting you know you stop someone so you literally become the bull and you kind of go like hang on a second here right you're not leaving now we need to discuss this and once things flowing a little better because they have actually finally been said you are going into progression so whether or not your life and your relationships are fixable is a matter of perspective and also a matter of time what you're not asked here this month is to just say fuck off right it doesn't work that way so you're not asked me to make um this is not about endings this month this is about speaking your truth and then watch if there are any changes that you agreed upon and if they're not coming then you might as well uh, uh, pull the brakes but this is not the month right the point is that you have journey and 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 um, progression as the outgoing energy but it can only work when you understand you have to confront what isn't working now should you not be in a relationship i guarantee you it doesn't matter how young or old you are you know i mean we're, we're obviously the best looking people on the fucking planet <laughs> but the point is you i guarantee you you will not find anybody who is deep who hasn't who doesn't harbor any pain and it's very difficult to let go of old issues and sometimes we don't even know that they're in there we only notice them when someone is trying to trigger it and the point here is because for your emotional core the universe or the guides give you two energies and they follow one another so the opposition is first the confrontation is first and then there's a progression so this is a good thing because it means like you know once i say something um things might actually change for the better which is exactly what what the message here is for you right so that's that and now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of november 2023 for your very sign of taurus before we do this there is a special offer this month that you can you can get you can back yourself a 10 percent off special offer only for the people who sort of find that that um channel or find me on facebook or something so just for the month of november you can get 10 percent off astrology reports that i do they're quite helpful i recorded a special video or a separate video that tells you what this all entails it's only three and a half minutes long so i'm not going to bother you here with all of this you can find it on my channel right and uh very close to all the other november related videos because that is also a november thing point is these astrology reports can help you look at who am i how am i how do i tick 
what does the planetary movements tell me about how I understand the world and where do I have to override stuff, where are the pros and cons of my life, it's all in there. So they make a, a perfect gift to yourself or to friends. The reason why I brought them up cheaper, if that makes sense, in November is because they make, um, you, you might as well want to give some, some of your friends or maybe your best friend or whatever one as well, but it takes me three to five days to actually create them. That's why I want you to, if you want one, to book it in November so we can all make sure you have that for Christmas if this is what you want to give as a present. Anyway, there's a full video about this nearly there. I also want to let you know that I write for a magazine called The Brains Magazine um, and um, they handpick people that they want to write for them and I write for them. See what happens is here. This is the second video we're recording and I have no memory whether or not I already said that. <laughs> I don't think I have in this video. I don't think so. <laughs> Point is I'm now writing for a magazine. They handpick people that they find valuable and knowledgeable. So thank you very much Brains Magazine for picking me. Um, because in my mind, I'm still an idiot, right? So, you can see, self-esteem issue, something I have to work on. <laughs> but the point is, I'm writing for that magazine. And it's a free magazine, and there's loads of people who write about how they give support and healing to others. So there's tons of information there, and you can just access it by clicking on the link in the de description box. Uh, totally free of charge. We all write there for the betterment of our fellow humans, if that makes sense. So please go there, check it out, and now I'm going to shut up for a minute because we're now looking at uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of Taurus. Lovely. Um, Taurians that are looking for love, this could be your month. You have the heart chakra, um, one of the most, uh, uh, apart, from, apart from the other love card, this is one of the most powerful in, in my deck of cards anyway, and cleanse and detoxify. If you want somebody to love, if you want somebody to love you, you need to open up. You need to let them and let yourself be loved. There's a feeling with this that you close off a little bit, um, you feel insecure, you get a bit worried, you get a bit scared of opening up and letting people see the real you. This is an opportunity for you this month um, and particularly because it's a powerful month, yeah. um, really, if this is what you want, this is what you could get. Put your thoughts out there, open yourself up to the universe and let it come in. That would be wonderful. And remember, in your emotional core, it was about, you know, um, opposing people and, and confront people. And once you do this and you mm -hmm. speak your truths, you display self-worth. And so the thought is, if you always have it on your mind, you know, whoever is going to be with me has to deserve me first. Mm. It's a good thing just to understand that, right? So this way you're not going to just fall for someone, if that makes sense, right? Um, even though this is another thing, because Taurus is very much uh, family-oriented. So um, sometimes, you know, you, you are the sign that stays longer in relationships that ultimately may not be for you, if that makes sense. But once you bring it in, that people have to deserve you first and treat you with respect that you give to everybody. You know, claim what you give for yourself and you will notice how easy it is to manifest differently to what you normally have. Okay, all that said, that concludes your uh, reading for the month of November 2023. Remember, everything you need to know about the two of us and about all the stuff I just mentioned, you will find in the description box below. Lastly, if you want to support the channel, you can just quite simply buy me a coffee. So you go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. So how this normally works, people just spend a fiver and I get £4.34, <laughs> right? And then I go to um, any coffee shop and put it in me. Love it, right? All I'm saying is it helps the channel grow and it helps me out, if that makes sense. So I would really, really appreciate it. And then um, please like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you all next time. Bye Jane, bye. thank you so much. You're welcome. See you next time. Bye-bye.